I'm Steph Hendel and I am your host of the Fit and Fearless Female Show and today our topic is the one thing that I wish I had known sooner about weight loss and health and it's the one thing that by knowing it is going to save you a lot of time, stress and money. So lots of good info is on the way today. I'm in my parents backyard right now in Pennsylvania. I came home to visit them and we've done so many fun things this week. Uh, I got to see, see my grandpa, he turned 97. I got to see my girlfriends from college. Um, I got to spend time hiking with my dad and cooking with my mom and going wedding dress shopping with her too. If you don't know, I'm engaged. Um, so it's been a lot of fun, but this is what you're seeing in the back and I thought, how can I not do this outside because it's so beautiful and green and amazing. Hi Molly! Wow, loves the, love the bird shirt. I know, waking up to it is amazing. So I picked this topic specifically because it's been coming up for me a lot and it's always my mission to be able to bring you the information that's going to change your life, improve your life, allow you to feel happier and bring you more joy on a daily basis, um, especially in the field of weight loss, health, your body, food, and fitness. So this applies. And um, the one thing I'm going to keep, so I'm going to do a new format. I thought this might be more helpful for you because I'm going to try and keep everything in the first couple minutes, the information on the topic, that crow really likes the sound of this, um, I'm going to try and keep the info in the first couple minutes so if you want to just tune in really quick and get the info you can grab it um, and then I'm going to elaborate on it more towards the end and I'm also going to um, take some questions, whoever has questions on the topic, we're going to do that so if you want to stick around you can. Um, my videos tend to go really long. <laughs> if you've watched my videos before, sometimes people look at them and they're like, um, this is like 40 minutes, <laughs> but it's backed with good info. So if you're one of those people who likes to get in and get out, you got the info in the beginning. And if you like to hear it all and really absorb all the info and with examples and all that stuff, then you can stay till the end. So, um, the one thing that I wish I knew that would have saved me a lot of time, money and stress that will save you all those things is the mindset. So it's knowing that you, my fiance always says this, the issue is never the issue. Molly says 40 minutes of awesomeness, yes. <laughs> um, the issue is never the issue. You always think that um, the issue is that you need to cut out sugar or you need to reduce gluten intake or you need to lose a few pounds or you need to resolve your health issues and while those are all amazing things, I want to use an example that is so present in my life because I literally just paused the documentary called I'm Not Your Guru about Tony Robbins. I was watching it with my dad, watching it for the third time because I love it. Um, it's on Netflix right now. and. If you've seen it, then you saw that the very first person that he talks to in his crowd, she initially stands up, it's like a young woman um, from Newport Beach, and she stands up and she talks about how um, what she wants help on is losing weight. And um, so this concept of the issue is never the issue, what he ends up realizing is that she needed a deeper relationship with her father. And this is gonna probably not make a lot of sense or a context if you hadn't seen this documentary. Um, but to go into it really fast, she, um, he figured out what her, um, her platform, her map of the world is and what she is um, looking to achieve and figured out what she wasn't getting and how she needed to accomplish that. And um, that told him the key core issue because she didn't essentially really um, need to lose weight to be happy. Um, but what she needed to be happy was the love of her father or the forgiveness of her father. And what she ends up doing is instead of blaming him for the bad stuff, she blames him for all the good that he has done for her and all the strength that he's built, which if you follow my posts, you know, it's always all about finding the gift in the challenge. It's always about finding the blessing in something that feels awful because as much as I love um, how amazing it is when you're succeeding and good things are happening to you and that's where I want you to be. I'm more concerned with how you feel when things aren't going well. So when a challenge comes up or things don't go the way you want them to go, how you handle it and how you feel about it because there's never going to be no challenges. There's never going to be no problems. 
and the way you can find the most joy and happiness and health in your life is if you're able to process challenging and tough times and experiences and interactions with grace and with ease and with an understanding that uh, there is a gift in everything. Um, so the one thing that I wish I knew sooner that is going to save you a lot of time, money, and stress from knowing is that there's always something deeper. There's We're back. So what I was saying was that nobody gains weight just for no reason at all. Nobody starts eating more food than they ate before for no reason at all. And that's what my job is. So if you don't know anything about the work I do, I work with women who specifically have done diets, they've done workouts, and they're doing all the right stuff but they're not getting any results. And they can't figure out why. And I work with them on their mindset and their perception and understanding um, the key, the center of where they're coming from. So that's my main concern is what's your mindset at. More important to me than if you worked out or if you picked healthy choices is how your mindset was today when challenging things came up. Because if you can flow through that, then you feel good. And then this is, this is really essential. This is the key. If you feel good, you want to make healthy decisions. You want to make healthy choices. If you don't feel well, you're not going to feel motivated to do that stuff. And everybody thinks, I hear, I have so many clients that come to me in the beginning of our coaching and they say, I'm just lazy or I'm just not cut out for this stuff. And that couldn't be further from the truth. You are not lazy, you just are having stress and emotions and your mood control your ability to make healthy decisions. And somebody who finds it easy to make healthier decisions has built themselves more structures and they've given themselves um, more good associations than bad and more good feelings than bad. And they've put themselves into a place where they're consistently feeling a lot of joy and even when bad things happen they're finding the gift in it and when that comes to you then it's not so tough to make a healthy choice and that's what I really care about um, because I want to just something super temporary and it's it just makes a really big difference if you're understanding you know where your thought process is coming from and how you're feeling on a daily basis. Most health coaches and personal trainers never even think to talk to you about this. How you're feeling on a daily basis. So with that, I'm going to read a couple comments and that's the, really the one thing that will save you a lot of time, energy, and money because you're going to spend a lot of money investing in diets and workouts and you're going to keep yourself on this hamster wheel of I lost a little weight, I gained it back. You know, the yo-yo lifestyle. And that's not a great place to be. Nobody likes to be there. People, we want consistency. We want to know that we're going to maintain a healthy, happy body. And you get that from the thoughts you're thinking, your beliefs, um, how you feel about yourself, which is why I created the Body Built by Love course. It specifically goes into detail with training and rewiring your neural pathways in your brain and also having you write a lot and um, do a lot of journaling to create a new identity for yourself, a new uh, motivation and a new way of looking at when things go wrong so that you're feeling better on a daily basis and healthy choices aren't a struggle for you because that's whenever I hear somebody say it's really hard to lose weight I always go you know what there's something that you are missing because it shouldn't be hard it should not be hard and that's a red flag that you need to identify your mindset so I'm gonna read a couple comments oh and then I wanted to identify the three things so the money it saves you money on not trying all these diets and all these workouts and all these things thinking this is gonna make the change it's understanding that I wish I knew when I first started this journey that it's all about your thoughts. It's all about your beliefs. It's all about your mood. It's all about how you feel. The things that go on up here more than the things that go on here. Um, it's going to save you time because you might get 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years down the road 
um, and still be struggling with your weight and that's not necessary and you don't have to do that and I don't want that for you. Um, you can remove the stress of all of that, which is the third thing, stress. Um, it can all be removed by just changing how you think and it's a extremely powerful process and it's an extremely lasting process and once you get it, it's easy to maintain. I work with over 500 women with the Body Built by Love program and it's pretty incredible how different their lives are now that they feel that control and it definitely goes into the rest of their lives. So their career gets more awesome, they make more money, they have better relationships and of course their body is way healthier. So removes a lot of stress, time, and money. So let's read a couple comments. Whoa, huge yard, love the birds chirping. So good, love that documentary. Yeah, Molly's seen it, I know that. So good, so, so good, I can't stop watching it. Um, find the blessings in the challenge. In every issue lies a seed of potentiality. A potential. <laughs> find that seed and nurture it. Mm -hmm. Agree, I am very agree. Well said, Steph, yes, when you feel good, you make smart actions, you make healthier choices, always. So. So, such a thing that nobody focuses on, such a thing that nobody identifies is really what's going on. So, the reason that you're avoiding the workout and the reason that you're avoiding a healthy choice and you go to bed going, oh, instead of eating the salad, I ate the pizza. The reason that you're feeling that way is because your mood was controlling you. So, I notice this within myself sometimes. When I feel bad, I tend to want bad foods. Exactly. Yeah, and that, I'm the perfect example of that too. This whole Body Built by Love course, lifestyle, everything that it is, is all because I was desperate to find some answers for myself. And once I did it, I started thinking, what if this could help other people? And so I started having friends and family try it, and they were getting results, and they were falling in love with themselves and their bodies for the first time ever. And I'm like, hey, I gotta share this with more people. So I started sharing it, um, and it's just been completely life-altering for so many people. And I love that a lot of times when somebody does it, they get their mom involved, their mom does the course, um, their friends do the course with them, their sisters, it's really cool. It's an amazing community and I call it a family. So it's like that loving, supportive family that most people don't have, um, especially with food. Most of the time everybody when they want to get healthy, they're like, yeah, but my family's not on board. So we're that loving, supportive family, the Body Built by Love family, which if you're not a member of the Body Built by Love family private Facebook group, make sure you go in there right now, like search it on Facebook and um, request access because I'll go in there and approve you and you can be a part of the crew. So much good support and love and just good vibes uh, that's going to get you feeling really good and shift your mind if you need something to get started right away before the Body Built by Love course starts, which was... I'm thinking about doing it again this year. Sometimes I only run it once, but I'm getting a lot of requests to do it again. So if you guys are interested, just let me know. Um, when you're feeling low, what do you do to shift back into a good feeling state? Really good question. So I have a series of about six things that I do, and I pick and choose them depending on how I'm feeling. Because sometimes when I'm feeling a certain way, um, if I'm really feeling down, then... <laughs> The last thing I can do, or not can, but the last thing I want to do, is something that makes me really um, happy. I know that sounds weird, <laughs> but when I'm in a bad mood, I almost want to like perpetuate that mood. And um, like if I'm like sitting and not moving around, the last thing I want to do is like get up and take a walk, even though I know getting up and taking a walk is the best way to make it go away. Have you guys ever experienced that where you know that if you do this one thing you're gonna feel better but you talk yourself out of doing it? Um, yeah, that's, that's, how, that's how it gets sometimes. So when it's that extreme, then I find like a little middle in between point. Um, some things that I do, one is I have certain audios, audiobooks that I'll put on and just allow that to start to like change my mind. Um, sometimes it just involves looking up. That's one of my main ones is look up because there's a book I love called E Squared and it is all about, um, well one specific thing they talk about is that you process like 
something like six billion things all in one second, every second. Um, so you couldn't possibly assimilate all that in your brain at once. So you have to pick and choose what's the most important um, based off of what your brain has decided over the course of your life is important to you. So there's certain things that we don't even notice around us, like you can try it out right now and just take notice to some stuff around you that you had no idea was there um, before this moment. So like for me, I didn't know this pole was up here with a almost street light looking thing. Um, I never realized that tree was brown. <laughs> um, I probably didn't notice all these brown spots over here. Yeah, there, or I didn't notice that there were little white flowers in the grass. What are some things that you're noticing around you right now that you didn't even realize were there? Because this happens, um, one of the things that we most don't look at is up. And for me, I just start by looking up. That's one thing I can do if I'm just like being, being um, resistant and I just wanna stay sitting and I don't wanna allow myself to get up. I look up and I check out the ceiling, and most of the time when you look at the ceiling or the sky, you notice something that you had no idea was there. And um, when I do that, it reminds me, you know, that there's a bigger picture, connection with God. I always think of God being up in the sky. Um, so I, I look up, it, it brings me back and it grounds me, and then when I get to that place, I'm like, can I go for a walk now? Can I go outside now? And then I do it. And sometimes it's like really bargaining with myself in the beginning, like, all right, fine. Like I can just do like walk out to the mailbox and then walk back. Like if that's all that will get me up. And then usually by the time I walk to the mailbox, I'm like, I could walk a little more. So it's like really being um, kind and gentle with yourself and starting little baby steps until you get to a space where you're really doing things that change you on a massive level. That's the same thing that has to do with um, weight loss. Most people come to me and they're like, I need to lose like 30 pounds. And that's stressful. That's something that seems like uh, there's gonna take a lot of difficult steps to get there. Just like it seemed like a lot of difficult steps to go take a walk outside. And when it feels like that, then it's not likely that we're gonna do it. So it's really important to take those baby steps with yourself no matter what. So those are some things I do, Molly, but um, I also cover the other six things in my Body Built by Love course. I have a certain module that's on all of that stuff. So um, I'm so glad that you asked. That was good. Um, let's see, Body Built by Love will save you so much heartache. You're so great at getting to the core of the issue and helping women move past it. Thank you. I'm very passionate about it and I love providing any little little shortcuts that I can because um, you know some of the stuff took me a while to learn and I just I love providing it in a quicker easier way <laughs> um, for anybody who's trying to do it now I know it can be a uh, intimidating task but honestly it can be really fast and it can be simple um, when you have the right tools and you have somebody who's already done it all. <laughs> um, Polly says, oh, pizza, it's a love-hate relationship. My mouth is like, yes, 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 and my body is like, no, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those things, and I would recommend to you too, Molly, that anytime you have that feeling of like, no, don't do it, even if it is something like pizza, um, allow yourself to feel good about eating it. Because most of the time, we, if you do end up eating the pizza and like you're in a bad mood and you are like whatever I'll just get pizza tonight um, while you're eating it don't allow yourself to feel like I, sh I shouldn't be eating this this isn't good for me tomorrow I've got to work out double um, you know all these thoughts that we have I I have these thoughts too but I've gotten to a space where now I replace them with better thoughts quickly <laughs> because it affects your body your body is always picking up on the thoughts that you're thinking and these cells that are feeling the thoughts and hearing the thoughts um, are creating your body based off of that. So um, anytime I have something that wouldn't be like quote unquote healthy for me, I always um, look at it and I'm grateful for it and I'm like, this is gonna nourish me, this is gonna make me healthier than ever. Um, I'm so grateful for this food. And then I eat it like that without the resistance that I used to feel. Oh my gosh, I used to be so hard on myself. And it still happens. It still happens for me that Sometimes when I'm eating something not good for me, I'm just like, oh, this is so bad, I shouldn't eat this. And then I'm like, nope, not thinking those thoughts. This is good for me. If it makes me happy, then it's good for me. And that's the truth. Okay. 
Um, cool tip on how to shift your mood. I love that. Set smaller goals. Thanks for sharing. You're so welcome. Um, does anybody have any other questions? And I'll take a couple before I go. Um, I'm going to get back to watching some more Tony Robbins. Um, I had a slice the other day and got an instant head rush. So I'm noticing what foods help me feel more vibrant and which ones make me sluggish. Awesome. That is so big like that makes such a huge difference because it's the association that your mind makes to them and this is something that we do in the body built by love course in module one we identify what foods um you're eating and how they make you feel i have a certain like sheet and a layout that everybody fills out for a week it's a little experiment and it tells you a lot about which foods are making you feel good and which ones are making you feel bad and it allows you to build a a negative association to the foods that make you feel bad and a positive association to the foods that make you feel good. So you start craving and wanting and desiring something that's going to make you feel good versus bad. Whereas a lot of times we have our signals mixed and something will make us feel bad but we'll think we like it. So it's all about changing and rewiring the brain with food and rewiring the brain with fitness. So it's really epic and you having those realizations on your own Molly is huge that's huge I mean that's very life-changing um, so yay! so excited cool well I want to thank you guys for being here um, oh one more question do you watch Tony Robbins all the time to keep you in the zone of feeling good all the time um, I used to I used to watch it all the time um, not all the time now um, I've built a lot of my own personal systems and um, I've built a lot of little things, habits, hacks that I do that you've seen in the Body Built by Love course and um, those things really keep me um, in the mindset that I want but yeah sometimes I'll go back um, or if there's something like the documentary I'm like yes I'm in. Um, is he your go-to person? He's definitely the person that got me on my path. So when I was younger, my dad gave me a CD to play in the car and like I was going through um, a challenging time and I remember him being like, you just listen to this, you know, just pop it in, you know, no pressure, just check it out if you want. And so I put it in my car and I started listening to it. And the first thing I heard him say was you could do anything you want with enough practice. And I never gave myself permission to do anything I wanted. So um, after that, the whole world changed. And I have my dad and Tony Robbins to thank for that. So yeah he is definitely was the initial person that got me started on my transformation in my journey and um now it's it's i actually molly who's watching here she did a video on this this morning and it was amazing if you guys haven't seen it go to her page molly and luna and not only like it and subscribe but also make sure you watch the video she recorded today which was about tapping into yourself and that's actually in this documentary I was watching today, which is Tony Robbins, I'm Not Your Guru. He, the name of the movie came from him saying, I'm not your guru, you're not broken, you don't need to be fixed, um, but you inside are your own guru. And so Molly made a video specifically about how you, the answers that you need aren't really going to come from anybody else, they're always going to come from you. And as a coach, that's what I've learned. Um, Anytime I'm coaching somebody, like I'm not the expert on your life, you are. My job as a coach is to ask you the right questions to get you realizing um, what you need to know about your own life. So, and giving you those breakthrough aha moments, things you didn't realize about yourself, things you didn't see about yourself that were blocking you or limiting you or holding you back. Um, so you have all the answers that you need inside of you. And so I've been my own guru for a long time now. <laughs> And of course I love listening to to Tony and I love listening to new people I find and progressive stuff and I love listening to my amazing inspiring friends like Molly and Luna. Um, you know those those are just amazing but all, all my friends will tell you the same same thing and they're wise people that you have all the answers within yourself which is really cool. So, that's awesome. Um, thanks for watching, Steph. Yes, the video I did this morning is about connecting to your inner GPS. It was so good. <laughs> I loved it. Um, so, thank you guys for watching. This is the Fit and Fearless Female Show. I do it live every Monday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. 
and I'm always open to any topics that you would like me to do a show on. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Um, I got lots of fun Instagram stories and good posts that are super inspiring. Make sure you join the Body Built by Love family group page. It's really super inspiring. Definitely not something to miss. Um, make sure you've liked this page that I'm going live on right now um, because I will be live here every Monday at 3 and subscribe on YouTube to see any previous episodes of the Fit and Fearless Female Show. Oh, and my website, stephhendel.com. You can go there and subscribe to my email newsletter if you want updates on the videos and inspiring stuff. And if you want to know when the courses open up, like the Body Built by Love course. I think there's another sugar challenge coming up too, FYI. Okay, so thank you for watching. It's been awesome. The birds are glad you're here too. <laughs> Have a great day and just know that you're your own guru.